Talking New York Giants fans, this is Tim with Online Big Blue. We're bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. I wasn't going to do a video today. I wanted to do a quick one because we're doing a live stream on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Going back to doing Sunday live streams at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we you know what we're doing? We're giving away a ticket to the Coaches Club. If you don't know what the Coaches Club is, it's the coolest place ever to watch a giant game. You literally can watch a giant game on the field. Free food. Free non-alcoholic beverages. Free desserts. Anything you want. It's awesome. It truly is awesome. Plus, you can also sit in the stands, but I prefer to stand on the field. We're going to be giving that ticket away so you get to, and you get to hang out with me. How freaking awesome is that? I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there. It's pretty freaking awesome. So tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing it every Sunday all the way through the season or until I get tired of doing it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, two things I want to talk about. Old George Young, the old Giants general manager, is finally getting into the Hall of Fame. He was, of course, elected, and now he is finally being enshrined. He was the architect of the 86 Giants and the 90s Giants. He brought them out of the doldrums of the 70s. Good guy. Misinformation on one of the stories, though, about George Young. I'm going to tell it real quick. The misinformation is that Pete Rozelle forced the Giants to hire George Young, and that's, that's far from the truth. The story goes like this. And after the miracle of the Meadowlands, of course, with Harlem Edwards, um, the Wellington Mayor reached out to Pete Rozelle and said, who would be a good guy to hire as our new general manager? And, of course, Pete says, you know, there's this young guy in Baltimore named George Young. And, you know, and it's funny because if you look at 86, you see George's picture. He doesn't look too young. So he was, you know, they recommended that, you know, he recommended him to hire him. They did not force the Giants to hire George Young. And we're glad that he did because he is truly the architecture of the 86-90 team. Drafted guys like Lawrence Taylor and Carl Banks, Leonard Marshall. Gary Reasons, Andy Hedden, Robbie Johnson, Byron, what's, yeah, Robbie Johnson, Byron Hunt. You know, he, he, was, he was the guy that brought these guys in. The giant linebacking core was, in the 86, 90s, season, was incredible. You got to remember these guys at one point averaged like 6'3", 245. All of our linebackers, even, even, our, even our backup guys. He brought the Giants into the forefront. And, the, and basically, that's what he is. I mean, that's, and he deserves, his, he deserves his place in the hall. And, you know, he's, he's up in heaven looking down. Uh, so he's finally got it. I wanted to quickly talk about one other thing, and that's Rodarius Williams, the star recently and the, and the object of everyone's affection in Giant Camp, the six-round pick out of Oklahoma State. Ah, oh, six feet, 189 pounds. Good guy. He's got size. He's got, he, and he's got straight line speed. You know, he might, he's somewhat lacking in, you know, in natural athletic ability towards attributes and reference to handling press duties, but he's very, very instinctive in zone, which is fantastic for the giant defense. He is a great fit for the giant defense. He has the, the physicality and the size to be a run stopper, which is something that we need. And he's just physical by major. He's a good scheme fit for the giants. I know in the draft, they said he could earn a backup spot, but you know, he could, he could potentially push. You know, people like Darning Holmes and Robinson, who hasn't gotten on the field, and Isaac Yitem, Julian Love. You know, he showed the ability to wall off receivers in college on the deep passes in which the Giant needs. He, he, he just, you know, and he's a guy that he's a, he's a handful to deal with on the 50-50 ball. And he's showing right now in camp what he can do, and he's being consistent about it. Now, the only problem is he kind of has the way I refer to as a delayed burst and going into speed on the deep throws. So he's, he's a little slow in finding the football also when it's thrown downfield over his shoulder. But there again, these are certain things that can work on. And this is a guy that was a six round pick. He's got below average feet and hips and adjusting to what they refer to as clever press releases. But you know what? This is all stuff that Patrick Graham can work on. And like I said, he is right now the object of affection of all New York giant fans. And rightfully so. He's, he's played extremely well. We're going to do a full breakdown video on a Monday. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video today only because of the fact that we are doing the live stream. Like I said, we're going back to New York, uh, New York Giants live stream. Chuck Talk with Online Big Blue. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Giving away the Coaches Club ticket. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Hope everyone can join in. We're going to do it weekly. We're going to do it every Sunday at 11, 11 to 12. Uh, we're going to do it through in the uh, through the season as well. Or until I get tired of doing it, like I said, but I'm just joking. 
Um, I, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I, I love to talk to everyone. I got people blowing me up, and I'm getting a little tired of it. Um, but like I said, we're going to get this done. We're going to have a good time doing it. Hope everyone will tune in tomorrow. Like I said, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. New York Giants live stream. Chalk Talk with Online Big Blue. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best of New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, give me subscribe, ring the bell, you know what it means. That'd be awesome.